Source code for this application is attached in Lesson 4 of this JavaScript course. Lesson 3 teaches you about animation and how to draw circles using lines. We need this knowledge to create a spider net of 3D objects in Lesson 4, where we will draw a full sphere. We have mixed code HTML and JavaScript. This is an HTML comment. Remember these special tags at the beginning, four characters, an ending, three characters, of the comments. The HTML tag defines the beginning of an HTML program. It has a head and a body section. The head tag defines the meta information of an HTML program. The style tag is one of the meta informations that a head area contains. My canvas, border. 1px solid gray. This style definition define a class type named my canvas that will have a 1 pixel thin gray border. Do not forget to mark the ending of the various HTML tag areas using this special convention equals a slash and the tag name. Head area ends here, and then we start the body area. Body area contains the programming code that will generate the web page. Canvas is the area where we will draw everything. We define the size of our canvas as 800 asterisk 800 pixels. Switch comment style as we are now inside JavaScript area, notice the script tag. Browsers will parse this page with HTML and JavaScript code and will generate a web page. We need HTML code to define placeholders and styles and JavaScript to dynamically compute new page elements and content. Get the canvas object from the HTML main document. Get the graphic engine of the canvas. Split the circle in two and then in 30 parts. Use this JavaScript function to get the value of canvas width that we set here and on canvas HTML tagline. Get the height of the canvas. Move all the drawing to the center of the canvas, compute X coordinate. Compute Y coordinate of the center of the canvas. Draw a line between two points defined by the first four parameters. Set the color of the stroke used to draw the line. Set the width of the stroke. Starts a new path by emptying the list of subpaths. Move the context to the starting point without drawing anything. Move the context to the ending point and draw the line between the two points. Execute the stroking process defined by the previous line to function. NR underscore steps is the precision used to approximate the circle, equal with the number of line segments. Compute the radius asterisk radius value to be used in the formula below. Compute the value of the step, used to walk on the aux axis. Initialize starting point of the lines we are going to draw. Initialize ending point. First we need to compute the starting point of the first line. We start the drawing process from the left side of the aux axis. Loop, nr underscore steps plus 1, times. Compute the first point of the first line, start with the x coordinate. Compute the y coordinate of the first point. Do not enter this block of instructions anymore. Start anew for cycle. Compute the second point of the line. Start with the x coordinate. Compute the y coordinate of the end point of the line. Draw the line that approximate a part of the circle. Mirror the line on the other part of the aux axe. Save the endpoint as the start point. Start with the x coordinate. Save the y coordinate as the first point of the next line. 
Use a prime number for better rainbow results. Only one part of a switch block will be executed, as specified at runtime by its selector value. Choose the standard colors from the JavaScript color library. Light blue defined using its RGB values. Light green defined using its RGB values. Dark green defined using its RGB values. If no block was executed then the default block of code is executed. Draw the circles approximations inside the browser using a tricky process. Stop drawing from time to time and let the browser refresh the screen. Instead of a full drawing process we will use a nice animation. Without the animation, the browser will show all the objects at once, it will wait until it is done and then show it. We define a process id that will refresh the screen at every 50 nanoseconds. Initialize the process id. Start the drawing process that will call the function draw underscore part underscore of underscore sphere every 50 nanoseconds. Compute the radius of the sphere. Stop the animation process after 100 steps. After the last drawing step, stop the process. Show some information about the drawing process in the browser console. Show some information about the drawing process in the browser console. Choose a different color for each drawing step. Choose the width of the pen used for drawing lines. Draw one approximation of a circle, by executing a number of steps defined by the variable i underscore step. Increment the number of steps counter. z underscore step is the z coordinate of the point on the sphere on axe oz. For this lesson z underscore step is 0. See lesson 4 for the full sphere drawing. Compute a sphere radius that fits our canvas. The last small circle on the sphere is hard-coded at value 6, just to make the sphere look nice. We draw circles with smaller and smaller radius as we walk far away from the start of the Oz axe. You can recognize the Pythagoras S formula. Draw the circle approximations that we will use to draw a sphere in lesson 4. Show some information about the drawing process in the browser console. We are out of JavaScript at this point and back into HTML. Do not forget to close all the HTML tags that you opened. If you have questions, please send them to software at videndi.com. Source code for this application is attached in lesson 4 of this JavaScript course.